What's going on guys? Today we'll be taking a look at Boba Fett, one of the few LEGO Star Wars buildable action figures. Now this one is a particularly special one because, well, I think this one looks a, I think this one looks much better than Jango Fett, but that's a subjective opinion and we'll get to that later. But first, let's take a look at the box. As always, we show the box with basically every single set. So this one is set 5 Seven five five three three, hundred forty four pieces, and you can see on the artwork it looks like he's uh escaping the Sarlacc pit. Hmm, conspiracy theory. Boba Fett survives. We don't know. Maybe. Here's the back of the box. You can see. I just show some of his features. Not too much to see here. And this guy is twenty six centimeters tall. So get right to it so first and foremost I gotta applaud Lego to just how realistic this Boba Fett looks now if you if you are old enough to the channel you will remember I did a video on this Boba Fett two years ago back in 2018 I did like a short build video and uh, if you really don't remember the link to that is in the description below so, you, if you want to see the whole build process of this figure, I did it two years ago. So, anyways, we're going back to 2020. You can see just how realistic this is compared to the actual Boba Fett in the movies. It is one of my favorite buildable figures that LEGO has come up with. Um, just There are a lot of things about him that make him look really define Boba Fett as a bounty hunter. And they're just, from all angles, yeah, like all Star Wars figures, they're very complete. And that's good because they're not like Hero Factory with bare open backs. <laughs> so, let's first start off by looking at the legs. The whole thing is on friction adders, um, as the, like the, oh my goodness, like the rest of the Star Wars figures. Um, this one has a specially printed armor piece so it's not any special it's like it's not a normal mold it's actually a more an exclusive print just for him so it's not really applicable to mock making feet here very nice gray feet um with the thighs they or i don't even know what they call this part but they use these i guess these are just for an extra umph an extra look uh don't really quite know what the whole purpose of these are but these are brick built so they are, I don't know, just they, they look nice. The main body armor is just the same, like some of the majority of the buildable figures, the same mold, just an exclusive prints for him. The arms are quite nice. Uh, uh, I like how they use these. These shoulder armor pieces are very nice. This one is printed. It's got like his bounty hunter imprint on there. And then this side is like an, a no print one. It's pretty plain and pretty empty. Um, he does have, I would say this is probably his harpoon that he hooks onto like, uh, other, his victims, uh, reel them in. Uh, his rifle, his, I don't, I forgot the name of his blaster, but, uh, it's one of those burst rifles and it, it, it mimics his real one pretty well. Of course, this is those spring loaded shooters and, uh, it's very nice, very nice. And to shoot this, I believe you just gotta, um... You just gotta pull something back. I'm not quite sure what it is. I remember you just gotta pull something. But anyways, uh, it's got a nice scope. This is just a brilliant rifle, and the way it's designed, it looks pretty neat. Pretty, it's it's done. It's executed pretty well. The head. This is the head. Very realistic mold. I really like these molds for these figures. They're very high quality, and they look very very close to the actual character and uh, it does have that little like bulge going and that's intentional it's not like a, like a little piece fell off it was intentional it's part of the mold i like these little details that they put into these head molds so that's very neat and uh, yeah pretty nice handle. and he's got this comic thing of course just like the real boba fett and um yeah not bad at all now this is his like quote unquote cape it's not really much of a cape, but you do get an extra, so in case you ever break this one, you have a spare one. Uh, it's a very nice 
fabric cloth design and I like how like they're really Lego's trying to put as much detail as possible and this really this is a perfect example and I think that looks very nice now the back of him has a jetpack of course and uh, the jetpack is mmm this is where the problem comes in I think the jetpack is a little too bright in my opinion like blue and ketorn yellow they should have stuck with the original which is more like uh, gray and gunmetal gray they should have done that instead because I feel like this is just a little too bright and uh, it's definitely yeah it doesn't really fit with his color scheme pretty well of his dark green and gray like yeah it doesn't fit too well but it does fully cover you can see there's even coverage on the back here and that's good and it does have a missile you know he's a man or quote unquote Mandalorian he's kind he's more a, he's actually a clone not a Mandalorian but um like that so here is the missile and to fire it you just simply do this and it's a course it's another cool play feature and uh, these figures are great not just for displaying but for play features as well so the jetpack is quite simple uh, these, these are the exhaust thrusts but then you get this uh, flick fire super missile from his jetpack so very very neat and it's very Mandalorian to me although you know Boba Fett is a clone not a Mandalorian but yeah so in the end what do I think of Boba Fett well posability certainly you can uh, put a lot of different poses with this guy um, not a bad not a bad Star Wars f figure at all and uh, Again, two years ago when I did the build video, I really had a lot of fun putting this guy together. And so what do I think in total? I think Boba Fett here is probably the best Star Wars figure that they've done from the entire Buildable Figures series. Like, from all of them, apart from even, even Baird and Grievous, I think Boba Fett was a well-executed figure. And just the way he was designed, it's perfect. Um, these figures are very well covered so I really haven't I can't complain about emptiness because there is really no emptiness within these figures so yeah they, they did a particularly good job of this one and I'm gonna give him a 10 out of 10 perfect 10 out of 10 really see no flaws see no nothing wrong with him and I definitely would recommend you to get Boba Fett if you see him please take the chance and buy this one so that's all I gotta say for this one I uh, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Thank you so much for watching. If you did not see the build video I did two years ago on this little set, then again, the link is in the description below. Go watch that. And that's it for this one. I hope you guys enjoyed the video as much as I had filming it. And talk to you again in the next one. Give it a like or dislike and subscribe to the channel because more are on the way. See you again very soon.